Hey hustlers, it's me Kenya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to do a quick book review. So quick book review. So today I have the Occult Book and it is a chronological journey from Alchemy to Wicca by John Michael Greer. Now this was in the New Age section of Barnes and Noble. Um, like the New Age, Lost Knowledge, that area. And it's an, this is supposed to be an enlightening journey, an enlightening journey through occult history. This fascinated chronologically explores such diverse topics as the earliest alchemists of ancient Egypt, the Philosopher's Stone, the Kabbalah, the origin of the Tarot, the Knights Templar, the founding of the Hellfire Club, Aleister Crowley, the Book of the Law, Modern Day Wicca, and more. With the turn of every page, you will encounter beautiful artwork and intriguing insights about the occult an astonishing story of suppression, survival, and rebirth extending over more than two and a half millennia. So saw this in Barnes & Noble, caught my eye. I'm always in like the um, new age section, like the lost knowledge. So anyway, this caught my attention in Barnes & Noble's. It's a nice navy blue book, um, you know, that has um, the gold, it's, do you call this foil? Not sure the correct term, I want to say foil print. This book was $19.95 at the bookstore. I live in a bookstore. I pay full price for books. I don't know why. I love it. Now, let's get to this book. So, the book is really colorful. Like, all the pages. It has so much artwork. Like, you know, it's really nicely put together. Oh, it does give um, a chronological order of people that have contributed to... Let's see, um, I guess occult knowledge um, and alchemy. But anyway, so in this book, they talk about like philosophers, Sophocles, um, Plato, Pythagoras. We know Pythagorean theory in school with A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Pythagoras was the um, founder of numerology. You know, they talk about Hellfire Club. They talk about Freemasonry, how that came to um, fruition, like how that, you know, became a thing. They talk about astrology, um, the tarot, uh, let's see. Of course, they talk about witchcraft in here. Aleister Crowley, I mean, he's like the most famous uh, magician. I'm most interested in alchemy. And... I feel like they, they glossed over, this author basically glossed over all of these different people. Like, he basically glossed over it, and it was just like he introduced them, and that was it. As you can see, it's only like one page. This page right here, is, okay, so for instance, Isaac Loria arrives in Safed. This is like the imagery, and this is one page on a person. Then we go to the next one. The Benin Dante. One page on that, and you know, imagery, imagery, the legend of falls, the imagery, and then the page. That's all you have. So I just felt like I didn't really, you know, I wouldn't say I wouldn't. I didn't really learn much. Like it just wasn't enough for me. I needed more knowledge, more occult knowledge. You know, and the word occult just means hidden knowledge or lost knowledge. Um, also, they talk about Constantine. And basically what got me really wanting to learn about occult knowledge was when I read the book, The Da Vinci Code. I think this was probably like in 2005 or 2006. And then I went to the movies with my boy Steve and we saw The Da Vinci Code at the movies. So I'm thinking like, you know, The Da Vinci Code was read, written by Dan Brown, who is absolutely smart. He, I feel like his writing is basically historical fiction. There's a lot of truth into the stuff that he writes. And I say to my friend, like, he's really smart. I go, do you think there's any truth to that? And he was like, yeah, like there is a World Health Organization. Like, you know, there is a Constantine. I had never heard of Constantine until 2006 when I saw that movie. So me, being a curious person that I am, I went to Barnes & Noble and I bought like books holding the Da Vinci Code, like basically um, explaining the symbolism in the book, like Constantine, like paganism, like I had never heard of any of this stuff before and I have those books around here somewhere because I have like a lot of books and I was trying to find it before this video and that's when I wanted to learn more about call knowledge. Now I have another book over here, let me show you guys real quick. So like I said, here's a Da Vinci Code. I won't want you guys to think that I'm fibbing over here. So, the Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. <laughs> Let's see when he wrote this. 
Uh, he wrote this in 2003. And so I went back to Barnes & Nobles, of course, and I got The Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly P. Hall. And this book was $24.95. And basically, I noticed in here that they talk about Atlantis, um, astrology, you know, the Kabbalah. Actually, I read The Power of Kabbalah. A friend of mine suggested I read it. He's from Israel. And then, you know, they talk about alchemy. I'm so interested in alchemy. Um, tarot cards. I have some tarot cards. I actually bought another deck for like a dollar from the thrift store two days ago. They talk about pyramids, zodiac signs, you know, um, the Bimban tale of Isis. Like, baby, this book is over 600 pages, but the curious person that I am, oh, your girl is going to read it. And so I started it and I have my pencil because, of course, when you go to college and I'm minoring in English, your professors always tell you to read the text closely. So that's what I like to do. So I'm getting into this. So yeah, that's my little review on um, the occult book. I mean, if you're getting into occult knowledge, um, pick this up if you just want to, you know, just know a little bit about it. But it's not going to give you in-depth information about, you know, occult knowledge. That's just my opinion. I just felt like I needed something deeper. So with that being said, I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Toodles.